Hello everyone, welcome to Vedantu guys. Today I am going to discuss about the very important question. Question is saying that the five the, uh, respective term of the following APs. First question is A1 is equal to 2, A3 is equal to 26 and find the A2, okay? So guys, what is the, now I am going to solve this question, okay? So uh, we are having A1 and uh, A1 that is equal to 2 and A3 that is equal to 26 and we have to find out the value of A2, okay? So it is the first first question, okay, right? Actually, a one, a two, and a three. We can write it as a one means first term, a two means second term, and a three means third term. So guys, what we can say that a two is the what guys a two is the uh, middle term of the a one and a three. So directly, and we uh, all terms are in a p. So that's why how we can find out the middle term. So uh, we can add the x, the int term and uh, after dividing 2 and uh, divided by 2 then after we will get the middle term guys. So uh, like this you can write here a2 is equal to a1 plus a3 by 2 okay. So this is the very simple. So guys a2 is equal to what we can say that 2 plus 26 and that is divided by 2. So it will be 28 divided by 2 it will be 40. Right, so you can see that the second term will be the 40. Now, similarly, what we can say that uh, actually we uh, for the second question. So second question we are having a2 is equal to 13, okay, and a4 is equal to 3, and we have to find out a1 is equal to what and a3 is equal to what, right? So guys, what we can write here a1, a2, a3 and comma a4 okay guys now now what we can say that so actually we are having a2 and a3 uh, a2 and a4 so first of all we will find out uh, we will find the a3 because a3 is the middle term of a2 and a4 so how we can find out the a3 a3 we can find out a2 plus a4 divided by 2 okay so guys a2 is what a2 is 13 and a4 is 3 and 13 plus 3 divided by 2 so a3 is equal to what we can say that uh, 16 by 2 okay so after dividing it will be 8 right guys okay so now we will get the a3 and what uh, now we have to find out the value of a1 right so how we can find out the a1 actually we are having a1 a2 a3 okay and a4 and we have to find out the value of a1 we are having a2 and a3 so similarly like this you can say that a2 is equal to a1 plus a3 by 2 right and we have to find out the a1 so how we can write here so by the doing the cross multiplication we can write here 2a2 and is that is equal to a1 plus a3 and what we can write here it will be 2a2 minus a3 that is equal to a1 right so now i am going to put the value of a2 and a3 so what is the value of a2 and a3 a2 is 13 and a3 is 8 so it will be 2 a2 is 8 okay guys uh, a2 is 13 okay a2 is 13 and a3 is 8 so now i am going to find out so it will be 26 minus 8 that is equal to a1 and guys what we can write here a1 that is equal to 26 minus 8 so it will be the correct answer so 18 is the correct answer okay so thank you guys